They're both over the hill, quote unquote, in goalie terms. Bill Guerin tried to negate that yesterday, but it's it's true. I mean, 37 and 35 ain't exactly as flexible as it used to be. Not everybody's a Tom Brady out there crushing things. But um, yeah, I think that's a good way to put it, though. Uh, oh, who's going to who's going to reach the prime? Who's going to be healthy race to the bottom <laughs> race to the bottom? Ooh. Uh, not nice now they're never it. gonna come sorry on. yeah <laughs> but i i am i'm curious to see i mean i i don't buy into necessarily the drama that people want to make of the goaltending situation i think both flurry and talbot are professionals and i think if anything mark andre flurry pushes cam talbot to be more competitive i think it's okay to play with a little fire and a little pissed offness right like yeah, that is my net. Okay. We'll go take it then. Like, I mean, it, that's the way a competitor competes. And I think that is what Marc-Andre Fleury helps Cam Talbot do. I think you saw Cam Talbot play his best hockey once Fleury got here because he didn't want to lose the net. He knew that Marc-Andre Fleury was capable of being a go-to starter and he didn't want to have that be an option. So I think it's a good thing to have this tandem together again. Yes, there is now the very tightened cap space, 1.4 million left to play around with, which wasn't isn't a whole lot. And Cam Talbot only has a year left on his contract. Now, Mark Andre Fleury signed for two, uh, but if he retires after this season, there is no hit to the cap uh, for Minnesota Wild, so that's definitely beneficial. But it's curious to see how it pans out. We've got a lot of time to figure that out. Certainly, I mean, as I mentioned, my first question to Dean Evson day one of training camp is, "Who's your starting goalie?" Just you know, it's flurry. Find out. It's okay. You think flurry? Let's yeah. place the bets now. Placing your bets 1056 on June 8th, July 8th. July 8th. July. Oh my month. God. Our summer is going away. Sorry. July 8th, 1057. No, 1057 a.m. July 8th. He, uh, Fred thinks that it is going to be Marc Andre flurry. Now I have to go Cam Talbot because we can't both pick flurry. <laughs> All right. I pick Cam Talbot. I, you know what? Actually, I think it, yeah, let's go Cam Talbot. Cam Talbot I mean, will be and, your and I also want to stress that they are both very nice individuals. None yes. of this discussion is about their character <clears throat> or their work ethic or their prowess as an athlete. It's more of just what's going to get them past the first round. Yep, that's true. 